Hey, what is good guys? I am filming a new video today and I know it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. I'm going to start doing videos on Tuesday because no shows are on on Mondays anymore. So, except Fo the Fosters, they'll probably come back soon, but I don't know when. But anyway, um, I just thought I'd tell you guys about Finding Carter and oh my god, it was so good. Okay. So basically, it was basically the whole episode about like Elizabeth and Carter's relationship is kind of like her. It's like they're butting heads at the moment, which I understand because Carter dropped out of school. I would never let my daughter drop out of high school, but unless they had like good reason or whatever. I would want them to finish high school because having a high school diploma is a very important detail, you know? But you know, I just wouldn't let my daughter just drop out of school just because she wants to and she hates school. She would have to get fucking through it, like, for real. And it was her fucking, like, what, skin she was gonna be a senior. Like, why would you drop out now? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you guys. Okay, so basically, Lori, or no, not Lori, uh, Elizabeth and Carter are butting heads and they need to, like, get away from each other, I guess. And Carter... Is trying to like find her life which I mean I understand but she needs to have support like she okay she basically well okay Lori is her real mother but Elizabeth probably was I don't know I just feel like Elizabeth like is a better mother because she was like I mean I know I understand that Lori was there for 13 years of her life but still I just I just feel Elizabeth can be a little bit more strict and like better for Carter as a, you know, I think Elizabeth's a better mother for Carter because she can set stuff for Carter so she doesn't have, so she's not in trouble because Carter's a trouble person, you know? She's had a lot going on in her life and I feel like Elizabeth is a good mother. She's protective, she's cool, and Lori is too, but she's just, I just feel like Lori is like playing, like there's like something wrong with Lori to me. There's something off. Like, I don't know. But it was basically just Carter arguing with her mother and, like, being, you know, butting heads. You know how mom and daughters butt heads. But still, this is bad. Like, Carter moved in with Lori again. And I feel like I don't want that to happen because I have a feeling that Lori is going to, like, one day going to run out of fucking, like, you know, like, crazy pills and going to fucking... <laughs> She's going to go crazy and Carter's not going to have any mother but fucking... Elizabeth, and, yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to get it processed, but, and then, it was, like, okay, it was about her and Jared, like, uh, it was her and Jared, and then, it's, like, her, it, it was about Elizabeth looking up Jared's background, which, I mean, I understand if you want to know his background and getting to know him more, but still, you don't look at his, like, rec- Okay, maybe you do. I don't know. If, uh, she's a police officer, so she totally gets the ball game. So she totally needs to do that, I guess. Uh, I guess for her sake. I don't know. But I just don't think you should do that as a mom. I think you should try to just ask them questions versus look at their background online. But, yeah. If they don't want to tell you, they don't want to fucking tell you. Like, <laughs> like I'm just, I'm just saying. But- I think, I think Jared should have told Carter right then and there that I am married, I do have a child, so, like, I can't really get into a romantic relationship right now. I am trying to get custody of my daughter and maybe, and maybe get a divorce, and then maybe we could work something out. I don't think, I don't think Jared should have just automatically just went with Carter just because... He, he, you know, he just wanted to be with her. I mean, I think Jared should have got a divorce first and then try to get custody of his daughter and then get with Carter. That's what I think he should have did. And then Carter was upset because basically, I mean, I would be upset too if my boyfriend didn't tell me that he had this past where he was married, then she got, and then they broke up and then she got pregnant a week later I would be livid if I was Carter. I would be like, you should have told me before. <laughs> yeah. 
I was just, I, I just think, that's what I think. I don't know about you guys, but if, you know, if, if I was, how do I, okay, I don't, I just feel that maybe Jared should have told her, told Carter right then and there, well, hi, I'm Jared, I am 25, I'm, um, I have a kid and I'm still married, so I don't think I can get into any romantic relationship right now, maybe later on, and if you're still working here or something, I just don't think Jared should have just jumped right into a relationship, you know what I'm saying? And then, it was basically, it was Gabe and Max, and it was Gabe and Max, and they were just like, you know, okay, they, <laughs> that was funny, they were like fighting with each other, which was funny, like, okay, they literally broke the fucking wall down, which was pretty damn funny, and it was over fucking Taylor, and that was really funny, because Max and Taylor are honestly OTP, but I think Gabe and Taylor could have been OTP too, but I think Max and Taylor are way better together than Gabe and Taylor. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I do agree that they both have, have they both they both have had a hard time in their lives because Max went through Max like basically almost died. Freaking Gabe's parents are dead both and yeah, and they both went through a lot lately, and honestly, it was probably kind of accurate that they actually fought, because, to be real, I mean, <laughs> because, because Gabe likes Taylor, and we all know that, I mean, come on, but, and he admitted it, too, did you guys see that? I saw that, that was, that was crazy, I was like, wow, so, I mean, I think, I think that it was great that they made up at the end, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm actually glad that they're friends again, and it was nice to see that, so, yay, and I'm glad that Taylor didn't go to the hearing, because I think Taylor and Max's relationship would have went, you know, I think they would have fought or something if they went, because Taylor would be like, oh my god, I should go with you, I should testify, you know, blah, 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 and then Max would be like, no, I need to do this myself, and they would probably break up if they, if Taylor went, and it would have been, it would have been a mess, so, I'm glad that they can go. And then, I think, do you guys think that Bird is gay? I think she is bisexual. For fucking sure. Like, for real. I think, I think that Bird could be bisexual. For sure. Because if she hasn't had an orgasm with a guy, hang on a second. If she hasn't had an orgasm with a guy, then has she had better sex with a girl? I'm so confused. So, because I remember last season, or, you know, last, you know, yeah, last season, that Carter's friend came in town, and her and Bird kissed, which was like, whoa, so I think that Bird could totally be bisexual, and like girls too, so, but that's me, what do you guys think, I mean, that's, the I don't know, and then, what else really happened, I don't, <laughs> I'm not real sure. I mean, I know that Grant and that girl are going to be, like, a thing, and, like, I don't know. And I have a feeling that when Ben comes back, there's going to be some kind of conflict or something. I don't know. So, I mean, oh, I saw in the preview that I think I think that uh, Jared guy, he actually gets arrested for, you know, having sex with a minor, which he should. And then, I think, and then I think that um, baby mama, like, comes to town and says, hey, how old is that girl that you're with? And, <laughs> like, I would be concerned, too. Like, really? Like, really? You, okay, you don't let a 17-year-old work at a fucking bar. Like, get out of here. Like, <laughs> it was pretty good, though. But other than that, I mean, nothing really else happened. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, anyway, oh my god, guys. So, I heard that, okay, I don't know if it's true or not, but I have heard that, I heard that Caleb and Spencer are gonna hook up in the PL, in PLL 6B. That's what I heard. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I saw that the other day on someone's Twitter. Okay, I'm not saying names because that's none of my, that's, that's their business. You know what I'm saying. 
I heard that Spencer and Caleb are actually going to hook up, which is, ah, what? Like, I mean, I don't think that's true. I think that's wrong. I think that's totally false. Like, if they if they did hook up, I think Hannah and Spencer would go at each other's throats because I think Hannah would be jealous. And then if Spencer and Caleb dated, I think Hannah, I think Caleb would go behind Spencer's back and hook up with Hannah. Like that that that's just me. I don't I don't know. I just that's weird. That'd be fucking weird if Spencer and Caleb actually were a couple. I think that'd be really fucking weird. Oh my god. Like, I couldn't take that. I would not ship that at all. Because I just think of Caleb as, like, a friend of the other liars besides Hannah. Because Hannah and Caleb went through so much. And I'm really sad that she's actually not going to marry Caleb. Like, I think Caleb and Hannah would have been a great, like, Caleb is so good to her. I, I just think that Hannah should just be with Caleb forever. Because <laughs> Caleb is OTP. It's like one of my favorite OTPs of all time. Freaking, oh my god. Like, I can't. I can't take this guy named Jordan. No, I mean, he's probably really hot, but still. Like, no. 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 And I can't take that Toby is going to be with another fucking girl. I cannot take that. No, Spot. Spencer and Toby belong together. They belong together. They need each other. No, I can't take it. Anyway, and I heard that Emily is actually maybe gonna... I, I don't know. I heard that Emerson might happen. But who knows? Marlene King always lies about Emerson, so you can't really believe anything that comes out of that woman's mouth about Emerson, really. I mean, I think Emily's probably gonna have a really hard time of the whole, like, PTSD thing, I think she might actually, like, go fucking nuts. Like, after, like, years of being tortured, Emily's gonna go nuts, finally, and I, I just think, I think Emily's gonna have a really hard time with, like, not seeing her friends, not being in high school, because that's what Emily, that's all Emily had was high school and her friends, and that's basically it. She, that, I, I that's what I think. I don't think Emily really had a life except her job at the brew. So, that's, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but who knows? And I think the freaking premiere looks amazing, and I cannot wait. And, yeah, and that guy, I don't know, the really hot guy that Arya is going to be, you know, dating. He, I have, and also, I heard that Ezra is going to have a really dark side to him this season. I'm really fucking excited, because I remember season was it season four season four it was season four that he had a really dark character and i'm really excited about ezra and aria like that whole storyline is going to be great and i cannot wait i'm so excited like like i just have i just have a feeling i don't think aria's going to get married i think she's going to just like have an affair with ezra you know like you know cheating I guess, but that's not a good thing, but, you know, I, Ezra and Arya, they're, they're, they, they belong together, they need to be married, because they, to be honest, I, I ship them the most, out of Pretty Little Liars, I ship them the most, because, to be, I mean, I hate, I don't really like Arya that well, but that's who I ship the most, because, to be honest, I just think Arya and Ezra have been through so much, they have been together since, like, what, like, season one, episode, what, ten, maybe, by I don't remember I know that she like the first day they met like it was crazy like they've been together since like season what maybe one I don't I don't know guys I can't I'm not real accurate about that but I I ship them the most because to be honest they belong together I mean really you guys could even agree with me Ezra and Arya belong together and I'm making this 15 minutes long because I need to talk about this and I just have a feeling that Ezra is going to have, like, a really, there's going to be some, I think Ezra is hiding something else besides the book. He, there's something. Like, maybe the baby was, our, maybe, like, Allison got pregnant and then with Ezra's baby and, like, you know, like, something like that. Or, like, I don't know, just, like, he's hiding something else. I swear to God, you guys. I mean, I love Ezra. Don't get me wrong. Ezra's hot as fuck, and he's he's cute and adorable, and his character's amazing, and yeah. But 
I don't know. I just have a feeling he's there's something else going on in Ezra's world. So, and I have a feeling that Arya is going to find out, and she's not going to be too damn happy about it. So, yeah, and I have a feeling that they might connect as friends instead of a couple. I don't think they'll be together, but, you know, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah. I mean, who knows? Who knows what hap- who, who, uh, who, uh, who, who knows what's going to happen on PLL? There's always some new plot twist on that show, I fucking swear to God. I cannot wait for the premiere to come on. I am over the moon because I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm just bored. T- there's nothing on TV really right now, and except Finding Harder and American Horror Story, but that's pretty much all the shows I watch anymore. I really don't watch anything else besides those two at the moment. So yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna go now because this is 16 minutes long, and I did not plan for this to be 16 minutes long. All right, well, I love you guys, and I will see you next week, hopefully. I don't know, I might not see you guys next week, because I might take a break for Thanksgiving, and then come back that, you know, December 1st. December 1st will be, the. I think December 1st will be the day I come back, because next week I will be so busy working at Bath and Body Works all week, so maybe I might, I don't know. I'll surprise you guys. So anyway, uh, I love you guys and I'll see you guys maybe next week, maybe December 1st, who knows? Anyway, love you and good night.